What's going on guys? This is Gmail for Life. And what we have in front of you right here is an exclusive. This is one of the big gold belts made by Fandu Belts. I recently just got this in yesterday and I gotta say I am extremely impressed with it. Alright, let me just go into detail show you guys what this belt is about for those of you who haven't seen it in person. Let me just get some focus on this thing first. All right. Okay, first of all, as you can see, the belt kind of matches the WWE style. This is a three-plater, right, just like the big old should be. The main plate is super thick. I'm trying to get some shot here. I believe around six millimeters right here. Very nice. The engraving is 3D style. Reminiscent of the um, J Mar WWE Big Gold. Let me see if I can give you guys some. This is a nice shot right here. If I could just focus here, show you guys. You can see all the um, the lumps coming up. Let's see if I can get closer here. There we go. There's a good shot. You guys can see all that. 3D like. Let me see. I'm trying to get you the best I could here. Camera lights interfering a little bit. Let me see if I tilt it a little bit. But the um, it's all 3D style. You see, I'm trying to. Forgive me for doing this. I'm trying to stop the camera light from blocking to show you guys the 3D effect. Sadly, that's the best I could do, but as you can see, very lumpy, very nice 3D style. The wording pops out very, very well. Focus right here, so we can you guys see very well, even better than the next gen big golds. Fortunately, I can't get you the best lighting possible, but. There we go. That's a good representation of how high the letters pop out. Alright. Side plate. The same. 3D style. All lumpy. See, this belt's pretty heavy, so I'm trying to get some good shots here. Something. Body's not too good, guys, so I apologize for that. I should have done this video during the day. Let me see right here. Unfortunately, it's the best I can do. Hold up. There we go. Get some better line right here. There we go. There we go. This ought to help. Lock the light a little bit. No. Apologize, guys. Trying to do the best I can here. There's a good representation right there. You can see, not bad. Side plates came out pretty good. Similar situation on this side. Very well done. Lumpy as you can see. There we go. Some nice shot there. Now, the belt is all gold. Nice nameplate style. I'm going to send a real score. The belt is all gold style. Very nice. Very well done. The strap is 
fake leather, but it's actually way better than anything fake's ever produced. They have two by ten snaps right here, so basically twenty snaps on this side, twenty snaps on the other, which is very strange to have two by ten other than two by eight. But it is what it is. In the back, of course, the same. You know, it's got the white stitching, the black strap. And you see the screws. Very nice. Very well done. This is an extremely, extremely heavy belt. Alright. You can see Fabio Sawaski gems as well. Now, if you guys want my honest opinion about this belt, it is fantastic. Honestly, I was completely shocked when I first saw this belt. It is unbelievable. Does it shine? Absolutely. Is it perfect? No, it's not completely perfect. Now, let's talk about some of the flaws. First of all, as people have said, the main plate is small, or as they consider it to be a little small. It's not that small. A little bit smaller than the WCW and the WWE Big Gold replicas, but not that much. You know, it does have a very nice curve to it as well. The main plate is too thick, honestly. Way too thick. That's about six millimeters there. The side plates, they are a little bit smaller than the WCW replicas, but not by a whole lot, you know. Let me turn this light up a little bit. Not by a whole lot, honestly. Not much. But um, one thing is the um the side plates are not as thick as the main plate. That's an issue. Let me see if I get you both of your side by side. Let me see. There we go. That's a good shot. As you can see, the um, main plate is way too thick, whereas the side plate isn't. That's a flaw right there. The um the side plate should at least be at least half as thick as the main plate. To be honest, all three plates should have been four millimeters thick. Not this one being six and this one being like three. So, you know. That's one of the flaws of this belt. So, it's not a perfect big gold. It's a great big gold, but it's not completely perfect. I'm trying to get the lighting on this thing to go even better. But all in all, it's still an awesome belt. I mean, come on, it's a 3D replica. 3D. What, what, what have you seen WWE or figures in give us a 3D big gold? And I'm still trying to get you a good representation here. You can basically see how lumpy it is, honestly. Very well done. Way better than Classic Shields. I'll tell you that this belt blows Classic Shields out the water. I mean, because this belt is clean. There's no waviness at all whatsoever. Let me see if I can try to get you some of this, but fortunately, my is not doing all that great. But there's no waviness at all. There we go. Nice focus there. None whatsoever. The plating is completely clean. The grapplers, the main plate, I mean, sorry, the globe and the crown are part of the plate, so I don't see them being attached pieces. Yeah, the main plate is hollow, but not by much. It only goes in a little bit. Let me see if I can get you, um, let me see on this side. Yeah, right here. It's hollow, but not by that much. It's like one giant piece of metal welded in, so it's very, very heavy for a small belt. But still an awesome big gold. Way better than WWE's replicas. Do I highly recommend this belt? Absolutely. You know, even on this fake leather, which is honestly that flexible. I can't even tell it's fake leather. But it's still very good. Like I said, though, it's not perfect. You know, you know the side plates do need to be a little bit longer. At least lengthwise. You gotta be thicker, because... Having the main plate this thick and the side plate that thin doesn't really look all that right. The engraving is phenomenal, so that's one thing that needs to stay. I mean, 3D. 
Tweety, all this, all lumpy. All beautiful, all 3D style. Like I said, you don't really get any waviness like you would from a classic Shields Big Bull. This is far above them, in my opinion. And the gold plating is not bad at all. I mean, it's not gold, it's gold painted, electro gold plating, supposedly, but it is phenomenal. This belt just shines, honestly. My jaw dropped when I saw this belt. As for the stone holders, people are complaining that they are popping out too much that they look like nipples or anything or like little breasts, but let's be honest. If the belt is completely 3D engraven, then the stone holders would not look right being normal size. So the stone holders popping out like they do is a smart move on Fandu Bell's part because you got to match the 3D engraving. So no complaints here. Crown and the globe are done very, very well. Very nice. I don't know what's up with my phone today, guys, but it's trying to make the video a little darker. I'm trying to lighten it up here. Now, fortunately, I don't have any of my other big golds I have right now. I have them put away, but I'll probably do an update video showing them side by side, but not really that much of a difference. Honestly, only this one has a huge advantage because of the 3D detail. Here's a good shot. If I see, I can get you some of the lumpiness here. There we go. Here it is. You see all this right here? All this right here? All this engraved. And the rope border is done very well. Hmm. Here's a good chance. Let's see. Here's a good shot. You can see. There we go. Look at all that. Look at all that engraving. Look at how far the lettering pops out. You're not going to get this on the next gen replicas. On a real handmade belt? Absolutely. But the 3D will cost you a whole lot more money. Would have been nice if the um, globe had the little texturing around here. Just like it does on the other big golds. Or use the lumps like on the WWE one, but it's still fine like this. Very, very well done. Very, very great belt, honestly. As far as the strap goes, for it being considerably called fox leather, because it's a leather substitute, it's not real leather, it's not vinyl, it's, it's what figures think should have used for their belts. Honestly, it moves like real leather. It's not real leather, but it is flexible like real leather. Honestly. It is as flexible as real leather is. Don't know why the snaps are so small, but they work perfectly fine. Either way, guys, hope this video helps out. You know, you know. I don't know if these guys' fan belts are going to release a second batch, fixing the little bit of issues here. But if they do, if you guys are asking me if I would get rid of this one and get the second batch, I'm perfectly content with this belt. I don't know if the second batch might be better or worse, so... I'll just stick with this beauty. Honestly, this belt is perfect to take to a wrestling event. Alright guys, I'll see if I get a chance. I'll do another video during the daytime. So I can get you a better look at it. Fandu belts, you did a great job with this belt. Just need to fix the small issues, you know? Very small issues, not much. Fix the thickness of the side plates. Maybe make the main plate a little bit thinner, four millimeters at least. You know, and you want to make the main plate a little bit bigger, but not much. Just the side plates, that's the main issue. Other than that, still a great belt, highly recommended. Very awesome, very awesome. 3D replica, so those of you who are out there who are interested in getting this belt, go for it. You can go dual plated. Okay, but uh, but me, I love the old gold. All gold dual plated. Don't matter to me. I'm very happy with this belt. Alright guys, that's all I got for today. Alright. 
check you guys out later. Peace.